Well, it's a day of many firsts. First time that a Kenyan Premier League team will play an English Championship side. First time as well that it will be happening right here in Nairobi, Kenya. So let's see how things go down when current Kenyan Premier League title holders Gorma here play host to English Championship side Hull City. It's Kogalo versus the Tigers. Let's go. The stage was set and it was all systems go for the historic clash at the Moy Sports Complex Kasarani Stadium. The fans arrived in droves with the usual antics that pretty much make any Kogalo game an experience. Kogalo leo wa sababu ya timu kubwa Hali City, timu kutoka England. Na kwa hivyo, timu ya timu yangu ya nyumbani ishinde. Kitu mimi ningependa kuambia mafans wa Kogalo Wazidi kushikilia hapo hapo na kama unaweza support Kogalo kivyo vyote kuja kwa stadium hapa kama shemeji siku ya leo niko nyuma Hull City kwa sababu hawa mashemeji wote lakini kiwango imefikia sasa kila mtu akupe peke yake na leo niko nyuma Hull City nichape Kogalo bao matatu kwa sufuri well needless to say interviewing these guys is always interesting Hull FC was in the country courtesy of Sport Pesa it was the second time the two sides were meeting after the Sport Pesa Kenyan All-Stars 2-1 loss to Hull City back in February 2017. It was also the second English side the betting company were bringing to East Africa. Remember, Gore played Wayne Rooney's Everton in 2017 as well. Another good spinner again from the youngster and he finds Wayne Rooney. Rooney has a little look up. Goes for goal oh, and scores a fantastic goal! And Wayne Rooney is back, and how? Kasarani was packed to capacity as the match began on equal footing. However, Hull seemed to tire under the African sun, and after about 30 minutes of play, the gates seemed to open up for Kogalo. Gore's first real chance came through a free kick after Tui Senga was fouled, Kahata's shot hitting the crossbar. The crowd was up. The pressing continued, but conversion was a problem. The game took a bit of a nosedive in the second half, but Gore still dominated, showing incredible flashes of brilliance that make the Green Army the best in the country. With a match nil-nil at full time, it was down to penalties. The adrenaline. Gore goalkeeper Boniface Watch put in one hell of a performance. I was pretty excited myself, but ultimately it wasn't to be with Hal edging Gore 4-3 on penalties. Kogalo coach Dylan Kerr. Absolutely. Magnificent occasion. Thank you, Kogalo fans. Thank you to the people of Kenya. The KPL, the FKF, the Ministry of Sports and the government, they've got to see this for the spectacle it were because we've made Kenyan proud. Coach Nigel Adkins was really surprised by the turnout. Don't forget Hull's KCOM Stadium has a capacity of about 25,000. So seeing 60,000 plus Kenyan fans was definitely a shocker. But, uh, for me, football was the winner. The collaboration with Hull City, uh, in Kenya, Sports Pass has put on a great uh, event for everybody. So there you have it. It was an afternoon of friendship born out of football. And despite the narrow loss on the pitch, Kenyan football was the winner. And while it's safe to say that majority had a good time, well, it seems that others took it a notch higher. Hull City legend Dean Wenders showing Kenyans how it's really done.
as for some of the teams that Kenyans want to see next. Nataka Barcelona, Barcelona, Barcelona. Nataka Man- Manchester United. Nataka Liverpool. Share, like, and subscribe. I'm Ida Warenda. See you next time.